Regional variant Pokemon is one of the coolest features the Pokemon games have ever introduced, and practically since the moment they debuted, people have wanted and floated around the idea of starter Pokemon receiving regional forms as well. Starters are obviously the most popular group of Pokemon out there, so it's only natural that everyone would want to see amazing new forms for these Pokemon. To this point, no starter Pokemon have received regional variant forms, but what might they look like if they did. Well, that is exactly what we're going to be discussing in this video, as we'll be taking a look at regional variant concepts for every single generation of starter Pokemon, giving us a glimpse into what these Pokemon could look like with a regional variant. The artists of all of these concepts will be credited in the description, and I highly recommend you check them out and show them some support. With that said, let's get into the video. Going in no particular order, just for the fun of it, we're going to begin with the Sinnoh starters, and these designs by Nige on DeviantArt show the absolute god-tier potential starter regional variants have. These designs in particular are amazing in my opinion, because they use the Fighting, Dark, and Psychic types, which is actually a group of types that was reported early on to be the types of the Sinnoh starters while Diamond and Pearl were still in development. Aside from the fact that they look really cool anyway, this adds so much more awesomeness to their designs, as it could potentially be referencing these starters' development if that report was in fact correct. Naiji even came up with some designs of their middle evolutions as well, giving them secondary typings of Ghost, Poison, and Ice, which continues to add to some already incredible regional variant concepts. Heading out from Sinnoh, why don't we stop in Alola next and take a look at some new forms for Rowlet, Litten, and Poplio. These three come from Mr. Buddy's Team Buddy series and were actually all made to be fairy type as a part of that series story. Nevertheless though, these are some awesome examples of alternate forms for these three Pokemon. I especially like the Rowlet design, and especially especially when it evolved into Decidueye. The evolved forms of the other two starters look great as well, and I actually like how the Litten family looks, despite not being the biggest fan of the originals. That's also an example of how regional variants could completely save some of the more controversial starter Pokemon, and is another reason why this idea should totally happen at some point. And from Alola into Johto, we now have regional variant concepts for Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile, designed by Devil D-Man on DeviantArt. Despite Cyndaquil being my boy, I actually like the Totodile variant the most of these three, and I think this is an example, in contrast to the previous point I brought up about controversial starter designs, of how even the best designed starter Pokemon can turn into something amazing despite their great base forms. Totodile is a super popular and well-made starter, but if this regional variant were real, I think just as many people would love it regardless. Overall, a really solid example of how cool regional Johto starters could actually be. Next, we're going to head to the Unova region and look at another batch of regional variants designed by Naiji on DeviantArt. These of course would consist of Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawott, as well as their evolutions, and once again these concepts absolutely hit it out of the park. They become Ice, Ground, and Steel type, with the Snivy and Oshawott lines gaining the Poison and Fighting types respectively upon evolving. While the Unova starters are decent in my opinion, they're definitely not the best bunch of starters either, and I appreciate how well these designs give them a fresh coat of paint. I especially love the Snivy line, which is saying something considering it's my least favorite of the three in their standard forms, and completely changing which one is your favorite based on the form is yet another thing that would make regional starters so much fun. 
Moving along, why don't we take a stroll through the region of Hoenn and look at some regional variant concepts for their starters. These designs were made by Devil D-Man as well, and they used the popular hypothetical concept of a type swap between the starters, where Torchic is now grass type, Mudkip is fire, and Trico water. I really appreciate how the types were swapped around in these designs, because typically I'm not the biggest fan of this concept, but these designs pulled it off really well. On top of that, this type swap idea is also really interesting in terms of using it for regional variants, and although it might be extremely unlikely to ever happen in the actual games, it's a pretty fun idea that can clearly produce some awesome looking Pokemon. Now we're going to get into the most recent group of starters, the Galar starters Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. At this point, there aren't really many regional variant concepts out there for these Pokémon, so in place of that, I decided to do some simple color swaps that can at least somewhat reflect the idea of new types on these Pokémon. For the types, I decided to give Grookey the water type inspired by sea monkeys, Scorbunny the ice type based on arctic and snow shoe hairs, and Sobble the ghost type, which is inspired by its ability to turn invisible in water and was a speculated type for Sobble's evolutions shortly after its reveal. Personally, I feel the Galar starters could really benefit from some new regional variant designs as the base form of the final evolutions aren't really the greatest in my opinion. It won't be happening anytime soon considering they're so brand new, but the possibility of it certainly is very exciting. We might as well go to Kanto next with these regional variant concepts for the Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle families, designed by FBS Augusto on DeviantArt. I actually featured these in another video where I discussed how much I loved the idea of this regional Squirtle line that is part dark type and based on the Squirtle squad from the anime. The other two starters, however, have cool designs as well, and honestly, if we were to ever receive regional variant starter Pokemon for real someday, there's a good chance it would be the Kanto starters receiving that treatment since they are the originals. So hopefully, if the Kanto starters do make this idea official someday, they do us all proud and have some amazing designs. And last, but absolutely not least, we head to the Kalos region. These designs for regional Kalos starters were again designed by Nige on DeviantArt, and once again are absolute god-tier concepts in my opinion. These designs give the Steel-type to Chespin, the Fairy-type to Fennekin, and the Fighting-type to Froki, with Nige also providing some designs for their middle evolutions as well. These designs, as well as all of the other ones I've shown today, are a prime example of why starters should get the regional variant treatment at some point, because frankly, it would be freaking incredible. With that said though, what do you think of these regional variant concepts? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet for more Pokemon content. Also be sure to check out the artists of these designs with the link below, and if you would like to support the channel more, you can do so by listening to my Pokemon remixes on Spotify as well as other music platforms, and by watching my Pokemon Cardinal series here on YouTube, both of which are immensely appreciated. I will see you all very soon with another video Video as well, and until then, as always, I love you all, and I will smell you guys later.